Hello, my name is Katie Rose Messmore, and I am the Principal Trainer for Solutions Digital Strategies here at Community Health Network. We want your experience here to be exceptional, no matter how you're connecting with your care team. One way that we are doing that is by improving the capabilities of MyChart. This video is going to show you how to participate in an e-visit. If during the e-visit you find that the symptoms you are experiencing are not listed in the MyChart e-visit symptom list, please call your physician's office to schedule an office visit or a video visit. You can sign in to your MyChart account from your mobile device, a laptop, or a desktop. If you are using a mobile device to sign into your MyChart, download the Community Mobile app. Once downloaded onto your phone, tap the icon to enter the app. Then, tap the MyChart icon to access your MyChart. If you have a MyChart account, type in your username and password and tap on the Sign In button. If you do not have a MyChart account, but you have an activation code from your enrollment letter or provider, tap on the I have an activation code button. If you do not have an activation code, tap the I need an activation code button and follow the directions to set up your MyChart. If you are using a desktop or laptop to sign into your MyChart, go to the ecommunity.com website and click on the MyChart sign in link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. If you have a MyChart account, click on the sign in tab, enter your username, your password, and click sign in to MyChart. If you do not have a MyChart account, click on the register tab. If you have an activation code from your enrollment letter or provider, click register with code. If you do not have an activation code, click sign up here and follow the directions to set up your MyChart. Log into your MyChart and click on the Your Menu button in the upper left hand corner of your screen. Navigate to schedule an appointment and click it. On the right hand side of your screen, you are going to see related links. Click e-visit to continue. Read through the e-visit terms and conditions. If you agree to the terms and conditions, click continue. Select your reason for your e-visit. If your condition does not appear, then it isn't an available option for an e-visit. Once you select your reason for the visit, information populates at the bottom of the screen. This information is defaulted in and you cannot change it. Your e-visit will go to a pool and the next available provider will complete your e-visit. Click continue. The next screen is what to expect from the e-visit experience. Click confirm and proceed if you agree. You will now complete the e-check-in part of your visit. Please reference the e-check-in video for more direction on how to e-check-in for a visit. You have almost completed your e-check-in for the e-visit. I am currently completing the questionnaire for my reason for the e-visit. You will navigate through the questions and answer them to the best of your ability. Depending on what you answer, the questions may cascade into more questions. Go ahead and complete the questionnaire on your own. At the end of your questionnaire, you will be taken to a summary page. Review your answers and edit them if necessary by clicking on the pencil to the right of the question. Scroll to the bottom and click Submit when you are pleased with your answers. If you should need to upload documents for your provider, you will do that here. This may be documentation of a test done outside of community that you want the provider to see. Click the Upload Documents link and attach your document to the visit. Click Continue when you are done. You will then come to a summary page where you can again edit the information by clicking the pencil to the right. Once you are pleased with your uploads, click Submit. Your e-visit is now complete. 
Once the doctor has reviewed your e-visit, they will document patient instructions. To access your patient instructions, click Visits in your toolbar. Scroll down to your past appointments. Your e-visit will populate here. To see your information from your provider, you will click on the View After Visit Summary. Thank you for watching our e-visit video. If you need more direction on how to complete an e-visit, please visit ecommunity.com to download our MyChart eVisit workflow tips and tricks.